Hello friends, this video on integrals part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 30. Example, we have integration of 1 by 1 plus 10x. How should we approach this question? In this question, if I take 10x as t, which, is, which looks obvious to me now here, I get 6 square x dx as dt. But I don't have a 6 square x component here. So my ds will become dt by 6 square x, right? 6 square x is nothing but 1 by 10 square x, 1 by 10 square x, this is 1 by t square. So my dx will become dt by 1 plus t square, and this is 1 plus t anywhere I have. This, if you see, is more complex than this. So I should not use the approach. That means this approach won't work for me. Let's try something else now. Let's convert tan into sine and cos form because uh, this may help us. Just hit in trial. So what we can do is 1 by tan becomes sine x by cos x dx. So this becomes cos x dx by cos x plus sine x. Correct. Now we have to solve this. How to do this? If I assume now here sin x as t, I get cos x dx, that's correct. But this, what should I do with this cos x? I don't know. Let's try something else then. What we can do is, if we can write, if we can take cos x plus sin x as the t, if I take cos x plus sin x t, because sin x as t is not helping me. So if I take, let's suppose, here I'll take, I'll take cos x plus sin x as t, I get cos x becomes minus sin x and sin x becomes cos x t dx is equal to dt. Correct. So dx is nothing but dt by cos x minus correct now in this question if i can convert this guy into this form cos x minus sin x form i can win this hard what i can do is this i have cos x is there right i will say cos x minus sin x plus sin x, this becomes cos x itself. But if I write like this, this is something I know I need, but this will be cos x plus sin x itself. So what I can do if I add one more cos x here, and the whole thing if I divide by 2, it's all the same, because this is gone, sin x plus sin is gone, right? This is 2 cos x divided by 2 is cos x only. So I rewrote this in this fashion. The advantage is this became 1 and this becomes differentiable now. That is, if I assume cos x plus sin x is equal to t, this is t, then cos x minus sin x dx is dt, right? And this is 1 into dx. Correct. The whole thing is 1 by 2 actually. So I'll take 1 by 2 there. So this is nothing but 1 by 2 log t plus x. And there is nothing but 1 by 2 log of t is nothing but cos x plus sin x. Cos x plus sin x plus x by 2 and that is plus some constant because there is critical here we explain the criticality of this constant so what i've seen here is when i have this kind of equation cos x by cos x plus sin x or sin x by sin x plus cos x it is best to convert into this kind of equation where you have cos x minus sin x plus sin x plus cos x that is you get this as one constant which is easy to differentiate and this you get as nothing but this is nothing but dt 
Why? Because cos x minus sin x dx is nothing but cos x minus sin x dx is nothing but dt. Because we assume this guy is t. So, so the first thing you should try you should find some value which you can take as t and try to simplify. We here we took tan x as t. Tried to simplify, we could not, so we stopped that approach. We tried to convert into sin x cos x form, we got this equation. Then we tried to do sin x as t, we found that it is not possible, it will become all the more complex. We took the whole thing as t now. The moment we took the whole thing as t, we are looking for this kind of equation, cos x minus sin x. So I got cos x minus sin x, and this was fine. But here I was getting only sin x. The sin x, this was difficult to solve. This is almost same as this guy problem only. So I said plus cos x here and divide by so the moment I say plus cos x, this becomes 1. And this is anyways a constant part here. So that way I reduce this complex equation into a simpler equation. Please understand the steps because these kind of steps are used in other questions also. So normally if you have this kind of uh, uh, what do you call structure, cos x dx by cos x plus sin x or you have sin x dx by you know, sin x plus cos x such kind of place should always convert in this kind of part in this kind of part let's take one more example e to the power tan inverse x by 1 plus x square so what should we do here we know that e to the power t dt is e to the power t we know integration of this and here t is tan inverse x looks like so let's assume tan inverse x is equal to t. Let's see if you can, this can help. In differentiate both sides, you get 1 by 1 plus x square dx as dt. So do we have 1 by 1 plus x square dx here? Yes, we do have 1 by 1 plus x square dx here. So this equation becomes e to the power tan inverse x is t and dx by 1 by, uh, dx by 1 plus x square becomes dt. This is nothing but e to the power t itself, and t is nothing but tan inverse x plus constant. Obviously, this is nothing but e to the power tan inverse x plus constant. Very simple, very simple application of substitution. A complex equation turned into a simpler equation. That is the power of substitution. We'll take one more example: e to the power two x minus one by e to the power two x plus one. So here we have to find some number which we can substitute. If you take e to the power 2x as t, this becomes t minus 1 by t plus 1. That is not going to help us. Correct? Right? Not going to help us. So what we can do here is, we can try to convert this whole function in such a way that my function is something like this. I showed you this f of t into f dash t dt, right? If I have function in this fashion, normally it helps. So what I can do is I can rewrite this guy as e. I'll divide everything by e to the power x here, and here also I'll divide by e to the power x. So I'll get e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by e to the power x plus e to the power minus x dx. The advantage of this is, if I assume this guy is t, if I assume this guy is t to the power x plus e to the power minus x as t, then e to the power x minus e to the power minus x into dx is equal to t. And this is something which you already have in the numerator. So this guy becomes dt, e to the power x minus e to the power minus x, this whole thing becomes dt by this guy and that is t and that is nothing but log of mod t plus some constant and t is nothing but e to the power x plus e to the power minus x plus some constant and there it is. So solving this question was simpler but the trick here was that we were supposed to divide this by e to the power x. Why? Because you want to convert this in such a fashion that if I take some number as t, because this guy, if I get this equation, if I take this guy as t, this guy is nothing but dt, uh, what do you call it? This into dx is nothing but dt. 
and that is what you are looking for correct this into dx has to be dt correct so we divided everything by d bar x and we got this kind of equation so just remember these kind of steps because these kind of steps may you may be used in substitution problem the 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 main idea behind uh, the main approach for this kind of problems is first trying to find some value which if you can take as t you can make the equation simpler if not if not rearrange my equation and then find something as t and then make your equation simple so we have some example where we have here to find sin mx is equal to you know, dx so in that case simply we just put this guy as t right that was my equation is already not that complex you know you just put this guy as t and you get the answer sometimes this kind of equation you get and here you can't even take any guy as t if you take any guy as t you are not able to solve this uh, simplify this integral so in such case we have to rearrange this guy and then then find the value of t for example here also when we had cos x by cos x plus sin x right so here also it is very difficult to uh, take one guy as t so here also what we did we converted this guy as cos x minus sin x plus cos x plus sin x the whole thing divided by 2 so in that case this guy we got to call the first part cos x minus sin x was differentiation of this guy in the second part anyway we got constant part so you have to rearrange things in such a way that my equation will look like this that is you have f of t that is this guy f dash t that is this guy into so you can say x also fx f dash x and dx so if my x is this guy this guy and this guy all these things should be here so that is nothing but rearranging my equation in this form so if you rearrange then my life is simple i can very easily find the value of Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.